This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Health One. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits via online course modules. To access these and for more information, visit our website at www.emergencymedicalminute.com backslash CME dash courses, or simply click on the link in our show notes and create an account. All right. All right. Good morning. So um, I was going to talk about... uh, a couple of studies uh, involved in the oxygen wars. So, you know, recently there's, over the last couple of years, been a lot of debate over which patients uh, oxygen can be helpful, which patients oxygen can be harmful. Um, And, you know, we've talked about things like uh, sometimes in MIs, strokes, neonatal resuscitation, too much oxygen has been shown to be a bad thing, Um, can actually be harmful. And there's a couple studies looking at patients who are intubated for lung pathology, ARDS specifically, um, and how much oxygen is the right amount for them. So about four years ago in 2016, there was a study called the Oxygen ICU Trial that compared uh, what they called liberal, so a lot of oxygen versus conservative, less oxygen. And what they considered liberal was basically lots of oxygen, get them up to 100% uh, versus conservative, keep it like between 94 to 96, 98%. So like really around 95%. And that study found that the mortality was significantly improved with less oxygen. So the conservative oxygen had um, about a 12% mortality, whereas the too much ox- or a lot of oxygen had a 20% mortality. So a pretty big difference by just titrating down the oxygen a little bit. So recently, there was another trial that tried to see if you could take it even further. And it was a trial that had a great um, acronym. The title was Liberal Oxygen versus Conservative Oxygen. If you make an acronym out of that, it's called the LOCO trial. Um, And what they did was they went even more conservative, close to like 88 to 92% for intubated patients versus uh, more liberal, which they considered about you know 96%. And this trial found that actually uh, going too low is not good. Um, the patients that had the lower oxygen had worse mortality, both at 28 days and 90 days, kind of 10 to 15% worse mortality or higher mortality. And then also there were a couple events of mesenteric ischemia, potentially from too little oxygen. Oxygen. So this trial was actually stopped early because they found that it was potentially so harmful. So what they said was that, you know, low is probably okay, but when you shoot for 88, there's probably episodes where you're dropping to 85, 84. So it's hard to maintain um, a SAT of 90. So it's probably best um, to have a SAT maybe in the you know, mid to low 90s, 94% is probably good. You probably don't need to be 100%. Um, you know, here in the emergency department, you know, initially when the patients are just intubated, you know, we're going to have them 100% FiO2. If they're here for a while, we could titrate down, you know, 94, 96%, but probably shooting for much lower than that's not great. Um, but 100%, you know, if they're down here for a couple of hours, probably isn't necessary either. Any questions, comments? All right, thank you. We are on a quest to provide the world with free medical education. Please help us out by rating us on iTunes, following us on social media, and subscribing to our newsletter at emergencymedicalminute.com.